Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back once again. This is another tutorial for you, with another video on the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to optimize and speed up your TV box, and also get rid of those annoying freezes, right? Maybe you're using it and it keeps freezing with the apps, and you just can't use your TV box at all. I'm going to show you how to avoid these freezes and make it run more smoothly so you can use it in your daily life. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and also leave your comment at the end of the video, guys, because I'll be replying to everyone anyone who has questions, I'll be answering. Without further ado, let's get straight to the point and show you what to do first to get your TV box running smoothly again. First of all, what are you going to do here, guys? On your TV box remote, there's this button here that looks like a little house, right? You're going to press and hold it. This will bring up all the app windows that are using up memory on your TV box. As you can see here on mine, look, there are several apps open, and with these apps open, they're going to use up your TV box's memory and it will keep freezing, so you won't be able to use it properly. You can click here on clear all or you can just close the windows one by one, guys. I'm going to click on clear all here, and it will clean up all those windows that are running in the background on my TV box. That was the first tip, guys. So, let's keep going with the process of optimizing your TV box. And just a reminder, watch the video until the end to understand all the steps, okay? So you don't end up disabling something you shouldn't which could mess up your TV box's performance. So, watch the video from start to finish to understand all the steps. The next setting you're going to adjust, guys, is to click on settings or configure echoes if yours is in Portuguese. Mine is in English, okay? And then go into about. Here, guys, you're going to select build number. You're going to tap it several times, and you'll see a message pop up. You are a developer. Now you'll be able to access some secret functions on your TV box. You go back, right? Go back one screen, enter settings again, and check if developer options has been enabled. Click on developer options and look for a specific option within this menu. Here, you're going to look for this option, guys, logger buffer sizes. Click on it, and you'll see it's set to 64K by default. Change it to 16M. Once you've done that, go back to the previous screen and look for Window Animation Scale. In Window Animation Scale, set the animation to Off. For this first option, select Animation Off, and then go back to the other option, which is Animator Duration Scale. Here too, click on it and choose Animation Off. Remember, these are the only items you should disable on your TV box. If you mess with any other specific function, you might end up freezing your TV box or even making its performance worse. So that's what I wanted to show you all. If you liked the video, if it worked for you, leave a comment, share this tip with your friends, because it will definitely help a lot of people improve their TV box's performance. And also, folks, I'm going to leave two videos related to the TV box topic for you to watch, and I'm sure you'll enjoy them. So, thanks for sticking around until now, see you next time, and I'm out.